Uh, properties 2001 has a few issues on it. I'm only going to cover some of the major issues and some of the things that could actually trick you to think that there are issues present that aren't. All right, so let's uh, let's go check them out. <laughs> They couldn't have made that any harder. All right, so for the first issue that I have, uh, there is a lot, of, the brick is hanging over the ledge and what they came over and did is they put another layer of concrete along the base of the actual slab. And whenever they did this, um, it looked good whenever they sold the property, but this is actually a perfect condition to let termites into the property. And also whenever it cracks, it'll make you believe that the slab is broken, but it's not. So what happened is uh, the the ledge started cracking on the on the outside, and the client thought there was problems with the concrete. But if you pull it off, it just pulls right out. Bricks allowed to actually hang over the brick uh, the foundation ledge by by a third. So normally bricks is, are about three inches wide. So as long as it hangs over an inch, then you're okay. This next item, what we have is a corner pop. Uh, a lot of people, they see these and they automatically think foundation issues. Well, in this case, this corner pop is a little bit worse than average and it popped off and it caused the brick to settle a little bit and it caused a, a deflection crack outside. But most people don't know what corner pops are. Corner pops are, are, what are the result of brick expanding at a different rate than concrete does and they're both moving all the time and it eventually pops off the corners. It gets so hot in Texas that you see this all across Houston and Dallas. For item number three, what I got is the uh, the flashing is pulling loose a little bit off the edge and it just needs to be resealed up just to prevent future water leaks and also they use tar to patch some of the nails outside. The tar is a little bit aged and they need to come in and repatch it again to prevent future roof leaks. Uh, this next one's pretty small but it is something that probably the homeowner will worry about or home buyer. Whenever I was testing all the water pressure in all the rooms, there was really low water pressure in the shower in the hall bathroom. For this item that I'm actually about to talk about is the dryer exhaust vent. The dryer exa exhaust vent has been venting into the attic for about 17 years. It ha wasn't installed high enough and dryer lint is everywhere. It's all over the gas water heater. It's all over the, all over the, the attic flooring and since it's a gas water heater dryer lint is highly flammable and this is something that you they want to address right away because this is the result of some house fires all right so for the final one it's actually kind of a funny one i guess they didn't know how to do a garage door button opener or they didn't want to install one uh, they put the remote on the wall and they're using that as their button it's it's not that big of a deal but i just kind of wanted to show you because it's funny Thanks again everyone for checking in and listening to my videos. If you have any home inspection questions, uh, please reach out, leave a comment, and please like and subscribe to the videos. Thanks guys. Bye.